It's July block of the month. I can't believe we're kind of on the last little end of this block of the month and it's halfway through 2021. That's nuts to me. All right, if you need the PDF pattern for this, you can grab it at karinagardner.com. Of course, you can also join my VIP group. I send it out to you guys for free, of course. Um, and uh, I'm trying to think what else it's done with Ava Kate. So make sure you grab that. I hope it's still available at this point. It came out in March and let's get started. Okay, are you ready for the measurements? So very similar to past blocks, we've got um, four um, uh, one and a half inch square black pieces. We have four one and a half by um, four and a half inch white rectangles. We have four one and a half by two and a half inch white rectangles and four one and a half inch pink squares, okay? And then your center pieces are two two inch, um, well four total, but two in red, two in pink. Um, these are two inch squares, okay? We're gonna start with these. We're gonna create half square triangles. You guys know the drill. We're going to draw a little pencil line just as a diagonal on one of these sets. You don't have to do both of them, of course. So we're just gonna do a quick pencil line here, quick pencil line here, just like that. Okay, and we are going to match them up with our red pieces. You're gonna sew a quarter inch seam allowance on either side of that pencil line. All right, and once you're done with that, we're going to um, take our rotary blade and just run a pencil line right through the center here. And then we are going to trim this down after we press it. Okay, if you do want to trim these down, I think that they're supposed to be one and a half inches. You can see right here, I have a little bit extra. So you can trim them down to one and a half inches or you can sew it together and then trim down the, the box. So we're doing um, our hourglass shape and you can decide if you want your hourglass shape to be um, showing the pink or the red. Um, I actually think I'm gonna do the red up and down like this because it's a little bit stronger of a color so you see the pattern. So go ahead and sew this into a square by doing your horizontal pieces first and then sewing the square together. Okay, this one you do need to pre um, uh, make sure it's perfectly square. So we need a two and a half inch square. So I'm gonna trim this down. Okay, finishing the rest of this is gonna be super easy. We are going to put this in the center and then you're going to start with your white pieces. And actually what I'll do is this. I will just sew all of these and then I'll do the other side. So they're all sewn into place before I even put together the inner or the outer blocks. Okay, you can see that I've sewn these together. So now I'm just gonna sew, it's kind of hard to see here. I'm gonna sew these pieces together. And then at the very end, I will sew the outer pieces together. Okay, now I'm gonna do these white pieces on either side and then sew the top and the bottom on. Okay, there is your finished block, isn't it pretty? Okay, if you're not part of my Fabric VIP group, you can join it by going to KarinaGardner.com. I send out a free file every single Thursday, uh, just so you'll sew with me, and a tutorial. And um, that PDF will help you with dimensions so you don't have to just listen to what I say. You can actually see it on your PDF, and I think it's really helpful. Okay, see you guys.